Good evening. Sorry for my tardiness. I was having a conversation with a different client, so I apologize about that. Um, good to have you on board. Always nice to know who's there. So if you've got the ability to send me a message via WhatsApp and tell me who's there, or you can always use the chat on um, the live chat on YouTube if you can work out how to use that. Oh, I forgot my water. Okay. Not happened there. I had lots of people join and then lots of people disappeared. <laughs> so, don't need those. If, um, if you are um, staying for the meditation piece at the end, it's always nice to have a towel that you can place over your eye. Um, blocks out the light from the room. Darkens the eyes out, makes it nice and um, quiet on the eyes as well. So through. Nope, I thought that was trying to do with this in the class, but somebody else is messaging me. Um, today's class is going to be about using a yoga strap. So if you haven't got a yoga strap, then you could always use a gentleman's tie or a dressing gown belt, you just obviously detach it from the dressing gown. <laughs> Hi Leanne, good to see you there. Um, yes, so um, that, we are going to do a lot of work with this. Um, most movements are going to be using the strap. Um, it, using a strap can help you progress into a move a little bit more. Um, it can put um, like resistance onto it. So you can use it to stretch the band and make the muscles in the arms work a little bit better. You can also use it to try and help your balance. The one I found that it really works on your balance is when you come into um, boat pose. So you can use the strap to help you lift your legs up and you're using your arms to help with the balance. So that's quite a nice one to use too. So, without further ado, shall we give it a go? I just realised I've not put my hair up. Okay, so band. If you've got your band, we're going to start standing up. I might have to adjust my screen to get my arms in, but we're going to do a warm up on the shoulders. So bring yourself on up. Yeah, I need to adjust my screen just so that you can see my arms a little bit more and my laughter lines as I get too close to the screen. So, um, just stand with your feet shoulder width apart and I want you to just take the strap. So, I've got mine folded double at the moment. So, just take your strap so your hands are a little bit wider than your legs. So you're just going to inhale and bring the arms up to your chest. So it looks like I'm bringing them up much further, but when I turn them sideways, they're only up to my arms. It's just the angle I've got on the camera. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, bring them up. And exhale, bring them down. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And do that one more time. Inhaling up and exhaling down. So this time I want you to think about your shoulder blades. Bring your shoulder blades right behind your back. So really squeezing them in. We're going to inhale, take the arms all the way to the ceiling. And exhale, lower them down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. We're going to change our movement on our arms. So we're going to inhale the arms up. 
And we're going to put a side bend in. So just come over to the side, having your arms up in the air and your strap nice and tight adds um, extra weight, extra um, muscle requirement for the move. So if you were just holding your arms softly, or if you just had your hands by your side and stretching, it wouldn't put so much of a stretch through here as actually having your arms, oh, lost my strap, arms in the air and coming over. And then the resistance again, that also helps. Think about your shoulders, don't want them up here by your ears, bring them down. Inhale, come back to the centre. And exhale over to the other side. I keep exhaling through my mouth, I don't know why. Inhale, bring it back to the centre. Let's do one more time on the other side. And inhale up. I discovered today that if you inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth, your mouth will be naturally drier and it can cause stress. So um, if you are somebody that breathes through your mouth, be mindful of that. Try and breathe through your nose. Okay, so we're going to add a little twist now. So we're just going to inhale, bring the arms up to shoulder height, and you're going to twist round towards the side. So try and keep your hips facing forwards, but just twist the arms round. Shoulders down. Inhale, come back to the centre. And exhale over. Inhale, back to the centre. Exhale, up over. Inhale, back to the centre. One more time, coming over to the left. And inhale, back. Exhale, lower your hands. So the shoulders are getting a little bit of a workout. You just put your hands onto your shoulders. You might find your shoulders are starting to warm up a little bit. You might have definitely feeling warm through the top of the chest. Okay, so I'm just taking a quick sip of strange green juice. Do you like my green juice I've got today? I'm having spinach juice. Spinach juice with apple, carrot and ginger. Right, so what I want you to do now is we've warmed the shoulders up. We're going to give the shoulders a little bit more um, work. So take your strap out to the same distance. And I'm just turning sideways to show you. You're going to inhale, lift your arms up to the same position. But this time, I want you to lean forward. Try and keep your arms parallel to the floor and just try and straighten your body out. Opening the chest. Adding levers in front of you can make it a little bit more hard to balance. Um, and it can also um, open your chest. So just do what you can. If you feel like you've got to be up here, then just do what's comfortable and slowly come down if you can. And then we're going to inhale, come back up, bring the arms down to the side. Just give yourself a nice little wiggle. And we're going to do the same again. So inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, push the arms forward, chest forward, bottom backwards, coming into a half lift like we would do if we were doing sun salutations. Your neck should be nice and neutral, your shoulders should be away from your ears. You should be feeling this down your calves, maybe in your hamstrings, and you can always bend the knees if you want to. Inhale, bring yourself back up. Lovely, well done. So we're slowly getting those shoulders ready for the big one. So I want you to take your strap nice and wide, really, really wide. So what we're going to do now is we're going to consider the articulation of our shoulder joint. So I'm just going to turn sideways. I want you to think about lifting your arms up to the sky. Just look up towards your hands. Arms really wide. Kept my arms nice and wide. Hold the strap nice and loosely between your thumb and forefinger. And then as you exhale, bring your arms down. Do that again, inhale, lift the arms up. See whether you can take your arms back slightly so that your ears are visible if you were to look at yourself from the side. Just look up to the sky gently, be aware of your balance. And as you exhale, slowly lower your arms down to your side. Right, 
So this is where we're coming into the biggie. We want to see what kind of range of movement we've got on the arm, front and back, okay? So keep that strap nice and wide. Keep your shoulders down. Keep your body nice and engaged. You're going to inhale, lift your arms up. And then you're going to see when you can take them back. If you feel you can't get them back, just allow the strap to loosen a little bit and bring them over. So we're going to do that again. So tension the strap, but we're coming back the other way. So inhale. And you want to watch the shoulders. If you feel like one shoulder wants to lift, hold them both down together, keep them down, try and get your arms to come back and then bring the strap over your head. Now, I hope that was okay. So I'm just taking my hands in a little bit to see whether I can achieve that with a slightly tighter strap. But again, when you get to the top and you feel it's too tight, you can always loosen off your hands. So inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring them down. See, that feels really tight. I think I've just about managed that. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale, keep the shoulders down, keep them down, keep the arms in line, bring the arms back together and come down to the waist. And I'm going to do that a third time with you. So inhale, strap tight. If you get to the top and you need to loosen your hands, please do. Just slowly allow the arms to come back. Feel your shoulder blades pulling behind you. Keep the arms nice and tight. And then bring the arms back over your head. Bring it back. And then just give the arms a nice little shake. It's supposed to work with this talking to me. Okay, so we are going to do another move with our shoulders. Um, so we're going to do a move where I want you to take the strap in one hand, just hold it and so that it's resting over one side. Um, doesn't matter how long or how short it is, um, depends on your arm flexibility. So at least I've got a long piece of strap if I want to. So arms out in front of you. I want you to take your left arm and turn your palm so it faces backwards and then bend at the elbow and take your hand behind your back. So now... I'm in this position with that hand. And you know what's coming, don't you? So inhale, lift the arm up to the sky, bend the elbow, and now the strap is over the top of my hand. So I'm just going to grab for the strap, and I'm going to use the strap to try and walk myself up towards the other arm. So don't let go of the top arm. Keep hold of that, and I can reach just about reach with my fingertips. So um, that's the intention. So you're just trying to get the arm up the back a little bit more. So really feeling like you're opening up both arms. Try not to step back and step on the strap like I just did. Feel the stretch. See whether your arms are okay with this. Just stay here for a few moments. And then slowly release your back hand and then bring the other hand around over the top. Lovely. So we're going to swap to the other side now. So take the strap in the other hand, other arm out. So as you exhale, turn your palm backwards and bring the hand down behind your back. Inhale, lift the other arm up. Bend at the elbow, bring the hand behind your back. And again, we're just looking for the strap. So this time you want the opposite arm, the bottom hand, to pull up, pull slowly towards the other hand, just adjusting your shoulders. So this is just showing you the different ways that you could use a strap. So if you are restricted in your shoulders, this is nice because you do get resistance in the strap, so you can pull against the strap, um, and that will help strengthen up the muscles, give them a good stretch. But also, if you are hindered in getting your hands together, it does help. Because if you, if you couldn't get your hands together, 
without the strap, you wouldn't feel the resistance that you've got now. And then slowly release your back arm and release your top arm. Brilliant. Cool. So uh, we're going to keep going with the strap. We are going to move on to some different movements now. We're going to just adjust the camera a little bit. We're going to do some warrior positions. So if you stand at the front of your mat, we're going to do warrior one to start with. So I just want you to have your strap kind of shoulder width. Or, um, no, you want to do more than shoulder width, don't you? That's a bit wider. So shoulder width will be there. Yeah, so bring it out a little bit wider. Stand at the front of your mat. You're going to step back with your left leg and you're coming into warrior one. So just up to you if you want to turn the foot slightly outwards. Some people like it forward. Some people like it completely sideways. But the intention of this position is your hip should be facing forwards. So bend your front knee. There should be a bend here. Again, be careful with your knees. If that doesn't feel right, just keep the knee a little bit straighter. I'm going to inhale, engage your tummy muscles and lift your hands up towards the sky. Shoulders down. And if you want to, you can look up towards the strap. That means you're adding a small back bend and you should feel a stretch through your tummy muscles. Be aware of your feet and how your feet are grounded to the floor in this position. Um, we really want to be using the three points of the foot to engage the floor. So slowly, as you exhale, bring your hands down towards your side. Let go of the strap with one hand, take the strap behind your back. So again, bring your strap to that same position so it's a little bit wider than the body. And we're going to just engage the tummy muscles and lift the arms up behind you. It doesn't have to be very far. Think about your shoulders. You don't want them to be one shoulder higher than the other. I just noticed mine was doing that. So very easy to not be in a proper position. Engage those tummy muscles. Keep the core nice and strong. Shoulders down. And then just release the arms. Release the strap. So we're going to turn into warrior two now. So warrior two means your hips need to be facing towards the side of the room rather than the front of the room. And with warrior two, you take your strap nice and long. So your arms would normally be nice and straight. So you want the strap to be straight like your arms, hips facing towards the side of the room. Take the strap over your head and just see whether you can tighten that strap nicely and keep the arms nice and straight. You won't be able to straighten the arm there. Oh, you can actually. As long as you're grabbing between the thumb and the forefinger, you can straighten your palms out. Just feel that strap pulling and you're, you're resisting a little bit against the strap. Shoulders down, feet nice and grounded. And then we're going to come into a pose called triangle pose. So I want you to straighten your front leg and then push your front arm out towards the front slightly so your hips are pushing backwards and then you want to rotate the arms round. So if I just turn myself so I can see um, like that. And the strap is there to help lift my top arm. So if I was facing forwards to you, my top arm might be slightly wrong. But if I pull like that, it pulls my strap and opens my arm up. If that's uncomfortable for you with the leg straight, you can always bend the knee and then inhale, bring it back to the centre. And release your arms. It's quite hard holding the strap and holding your arms up. So just give your arms a nice little wiggle. And then we're going to move on to the other side. So standing in, uh, standing at the front of your mat again, you're going to step back with your right leg this time, coming into warrior one. Hips should be facing forwards. And we only want half the strap. So just hands a little bit wider than your shoulders. I'm going to do the same thing as we did on the other side. So inhale, lift your hands up towards the sky, shoulders back and down. Front knee should be over the front ankle. If you're finding your knees are uncomfortable, you can always loosen it back slightly. If you want to, you can look up towards your hand, shoulders down. 
Back bends, stretch out your core, tummy muscles. Good. 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 And then as you exhale, bring your hands down towards the floor. Take the strap behind you, still in warrior one. Straighten the strap out behind you, arms nice and long, shoulders down. You'll see that lifting the arms backwards. Try and keep your body in a nice straight position. Don't arch your back or lean forward. Body nice and upright. Just lift the shoulders, lift the arms. Just breathing. And then slowly lower your hands back down. Okay, so now we're turning the hips towards the side. We're coming into warrior two. Opening the hips, and we're going to take the strap nice and long. Take the strap over your head, just holding it with your thumb and forefinger. Lengthen your arms out so your fingers are nice and level, your wrists are nice and level. And just holding that position. If you pull the strap a little bit tighter, you'll again think about pulling your arms back slightly. Breathing nice and gently through your nose. Trying to get the diaphragm working with your breath. So now we're going to come into triangle pose. As you inhale, straighten your leg. As you exhale, lean forward slightly. And inhale, bring yourself round towards the side. And angle, move it over. Think about pulling the bottom of the strap down to open your shoulder a little bit more, keeping the arms straight. You can also tell if you were looking in the mirror how straight your arms were with the strap. And then inhale, bring yourself back to the centre. Bend your knee, step forward, hold the front of the mat. Well done. Let's hope you got your little bit warmed up. Cool, okay, so um, we are going to do another standing posture. So um, we're going to do, we're going to stand with our legs nice and wide. I'm going to take the strap behind us again. So again, it's a movement with the arms, but this time you're going to do a forward bend. So inhale, as you exhale, lean forward in your forward bend. Try and keep your back nice and straight. When you get to the position that's comfortable for you, hold that position. And then inhale, see whether you can lift the arms off the back. Use the straps, pull against the straps to make that nice and tight, putting a little bit of resistance for your shoulders in. And if you want to, if you feel like you can, you can always lower your head down towards the floor, lift your arms a little bit more. Just do what works for you. Just keep breathing while you're down there. Fill your head flush with blood. And then we're going to come up. As you inhale, slowly bring yourself up. Rest your hands back towards your bottom. Bring yourself up. And we're just going to come down to the floor. We're going to sit on the floor. So if you sit on your bottom, just bring your drink down. And moving the camera so you can see me sitting on the floor. Okay. So we're going to sit with our legs out nice and long. As my foot is on the floor, I've got the towel there just to rest my here, on the floor's really hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the strap onto uh, your left leg. So I want you to turn your body down towards your left leg and the strap can be used to help pull you down towards the floor. Now listen to your body. Don't exaggerate it, don't do too much, but with a with a resistance, sometimes your body will allow you to go a little bit more. Without resistance, you find that you're a bit hindered. But actually, with resistance, you can use your arms to help pull you down a little bit more. 
Should we give that a go? See how you feel? Just breathing gently. Be aware of how much movement you can make if you inhale and exhale into the position. And then slowly inhale, bring yourself back. Just remove the strap from that foot and hook it around the other foot. So again, now we're going to turn the body down towards the right leg. And again, you're using the straps. So you want your shoulders to be down, your tummy to be nicely engaged. And you can use your hands to get a little bit closer towards your leg. Make sure your toes are nice and relaxed and don't pull too much on your foot if it hurts your foot. Just slowly use your breath, allowing yourself to come down gently. Make sure you're listening to your body. I'm sure I use the same words every time, but don't push it, just listen. Your body might give you a little bit more if it knows that you're listening to it. And then inhale, lift yourself back up and bring the strap off your legs. So this time we're going to bring the legs so that they're nice and straight. And we're going to put the strap around both feet. So to make it easy, you can always bend the feet, put the strap out nice and long. So again, it's up to you. So if you were to do this without the strap, you would lean forward and you get to a position where you felt stuck. But actually, if you pull against the strap, you might find that that resistance will help you lower yourself down a little bit more. So do what you can. Do what your body feels like doing. Just a nice slow stretch. This is really good for helping you feel like you're getting a stretch as well. Again, you can stay in this position for as long or as little as you like. If you're feeling uncomfortable, come back up and then come back into it. You might find you'll get a little bit more play. Our bodies have all been through different stresses and strains through life. So some people's bodies are more flexible. Some others it takes a little bit longer to get into a position. Just breathe. And then slowly, just bring yourself up. Well done, hope you're doing okay so far. So, um, as I showed you right at the beginning, you can use the strap to do boat pose. So, we're going to start off with a nice gentle version of boat pose. So, come on up, bring your knees up so that your feet are bent. So, we're going to half the strap and I'm going to put the strap underneath my thighs. So, just grabbing right close by my legs, elbows bent by the side of me. And I can use my elbows, the bent elbows, doesn't matter how far out they stick out, as long as my shoulders are down. So I'm just going to bring my legs back into that position. I'm leaning back slightly and I'm just using my arms to keep my legs in place. So try not to topple backwards, just be aware. Just breathing nice and gently. See how long you can stay here for. Engage your tummy muscles. Think about your shoulders. You don't want one shoulder higher than the other. Just breathing gently. 
and then slowly bring your feet down to the floor to balance you. Right, so it's up to you if you want to try a slightly harder version. But with the strap, it can be easier. But please take note of your body. If you're feeling scared or anxious doing this, just do, um, you can do a lesser version. So again, you can come back to the strap under the legs, come back and do that one again. So what you can do is put the strap under both feet. And then I'm going to use my arms to bring my legs up. So I need to take my balance backwards. I'm keeping my legs bent so that I can lift them up. And then just slowly letting the strap lengthen, using the resistance in my arms, I'm holding the strap in place. You know, the worst that could happen is that you roll backwards. You can always bend your knees, bring them back down towards the floor. If you've got nothing behind you and you're on your mat, then if you roll down, you won't hurt yourself too much. You won't hurt yourself at all, actually, because it's a nice soft carpet or a nice squidgy mat that you're rolling on. And you get lots of fits of giggles if you do fall backwards. So you could, if you want to, wanted to, take your hands forward, but that can unbalance you slightly. We'll just leave the legs in a bent position. And actually it's kinder, I think it's kind, I think it's kinder on your stomach because your arms are doing some of the work. Because if you're doing that, you're doing much more work on the stomach. So this is better for your balance. You can hold your straps out nice and wide. Go on, give it a go. If you've got the strap in the right place, you might be able to take the strap out nice and wide. Bring it back, and as you exhale, lower your legs down. Well done. So while you've got the strap there, just bring your feet together and come into butterfly pose. So um, you can use the strap to pull the legs a little bit closer to you. And just butterfly the legs. Trying to loosen up the hip. I think so. If that's the way you feel. And then just release the strap from your toes. And we're going to lay down on the floor. We're going to be taking our legs out to the sides. So just make sure you've got enough room to take a leg out either side. We, we, if we do the same leg, if you've got enough room, Maybe we can do one leg, we'll do, we'll do one side first and then you can always adjust your position and do the other side, depending on how much room you've got. So um, we're going to lay on the floor, so just gently take your back down to the floor. In the first move we're going to do, the leg's going to be upright. So if you keep your left leg to the floor as it is bent on the floor at the moment, then take your right foot up to the sky, bend the knee and put the strap onto the foot. So using your hands, you can bend your knee and pull with your hands to pull the knee closer to your chest. So that is actually something that might help you to try and pull the leg down a bit by using the arm. But just be gentle and take your leg out slightly wider if you want to, to try and make that work for you. Just be careful with the right leg. Now we're going to inhale, take the leg up to the sky, um, straighten the leg out, having the leg above you, and still holding on to the strap. See whether you can pull the strap so that the foot comes more over the top of your head, um, over, over your face, sorry. I'm not trying to lift it beyond your, your face. I'm just gently trying to stretch down the back of the thigh. Feel it in the hamstring, I'm doing alternate moves. I can feel that quite tight in my thigh as well, so fingers crossed you can too. So as you exhale, bring the knee back down to the chest, pull it with the hand. So you're almost making the hand pull the knee down rather than the knee coming down naturally. Just stay there for a few breaths and then inhale, take the strap back up to the sky and see whether you can pull the foot a little bit more over the face.
You should feel that stretch anywhere between your glutes and your calf, depending on your physicality. Lovely. So we're going to um, keep the strap on that foot. So you've got your strap on the right foot. You're going to take the right hand out to the side, left hand out to balance you, avoiding any drinks that you might have close by, and you're going to take your left leg down, straighten the leg down by the side of you. Keeping hold of the strap as close to your foot as you can, but keeping your head nicely on the floor. You're going to think about taking your right leg out to the right side. So just do it to where it works for you. As soon as you feel discomfort, stop. You want your left bottom cheek to stay on the floor. So you're just slowly taking the leg down, trying not to allow it to collapse over. You can take the right elbow down to the floor to help balance you a little bit if you want. Slowly and slowly take that leg over a little bit more. Just be careful with your hips. You feel too tight in the hips. Just leave the leg there. Just take a few breaths. And I'm going to bring the leg back to the ceiling. So inhale, bring that leg back to the ceiling. So um, we are going to take the leg now over to the other side. So um, this one, you can actually bend the leg. So swap the hand, put the left hand onto the strap, bend the knee slightly, and then take the leg over to the side. We're aiming to get a stretch through the right bottom cheek. And you can lay both hands out to balance you, or both elbows out to balance you. If you're not feeling this stretch in your glute, it might mean that you need to stretch your leg out so it's much more straighter. I'm not sure if my, I was grammatically correct there. Stretch your leg out more straighter. <laughs> Sounds like there's a dog fight going on outside today. Feel that stretch coming right into your bum cheek and then we're going to inhale and lift the leg back to the ceiling Lovely. and then we're going to swap legs so release that leg from the strap put the foot to the floor keep the leg bent you're going to inhale lift the left leg up and put the strap over the top of the left leg straightening the leg up holding the strap you want to pull against the strap, bend the left knee, pull that knee down towards the chest. See if that helps you bring the leg down a little bit more. Just be patient and take it slowly to see whether the resistance will help you. And then inhale, straighten the leg. Think about bringing the foot in line with the face a little bit more, bringing it over the foot, the face if you can. Feeling where the stretch is impacting you, either the back of the calf or the back of the hamstring. Might even be down right into the bottom. I can feel it stretching down towards the bottom of my leg as well. Bottom of my leg because my leg's upside down. Inhale, bend the knee again, pull it towards the chest. And then inhale, straighten the leg up again, pull the foot over the top of the face slightly. And then just release the strap a little bit, just wiggle your leg a little. And then we're going to straighten out the right leg onto the floor. Take your strap in your left hand, right hand down to the floor to balance you, keeping your hips nice and in line so that they're, they're quite flat. You're going to take this leg down towards the floor. Uh, you might want to put the elbow onto the floor, put resistance into the strap as you try and bring the leg over to the side. Okay. 
I feel that stretch coming all the way across the top of my hip from the right hand side all the way into the left hand side. Just breathing nice and gently. And then we're going to inhale, slowly bring that leg back to the centre, using the strap to help you up. Right, swap hands, now you want your right hand on the strap. We're going to take the left leg across the right hand side of the body. Left hand down to balance you, and you want this stretch to come into your glutes. So if you need to bend the knee to take the strain out of your calf and hamstring, to get the stretch in your bottom do so. If not, you might find that the stretch comes into your bottom and you straighten your leg out a little bit more. Taking a few breaths. Breathing nice and gently. And slowly inhale, bring your leg back to the centre and release the strap. Just bring your legs to the floor. Just relax your back down to the floor. Just take a few breaths, relaxing. After doing all the work out that you've done. And we're going to stay laying on the floor. We're going to come into Shavasana now. But we will do some exercises when we come out of Shavasana and um, before we sit ourselves back up again. So get yourself comfortable. If you want to put your feet up a sofa or on a chair, you can do, or you want to lay with your legs bent, just bring yourself. How would you feel comfortable? Oh, I've got to be even really warm coming on that. So now laying on the floor, getting nice and relaxed. So if you've got a towel close by, you can put, or a lavender bag, you can put the towel or lavender bag onto your eyes. And you're just going to lay on the floor. And I want you to be aware of your breath. So as you breathe, I want you to feel the temperature of the air coming into your nose. And as you exhale, again, feel the temperature of the air on your nose. And maybe notice the warmth of the air. And some of those molecules will have been all the way around your body. Some will have the temperature on your internal body as they're released. And inhale again. And I'd like you just to concentrate on the breath coming in and out of your nose. Don't exaggerate the breath in any way, shape or form. Just keep it to your natural breath length. Even be aware of the hairs in your nostrils. as the hairs in your nostrils vibrate slowly. The hairs are there to keep any foreign bodies away from the lungs. So you almost want to imagine that the hairs are trapping dust and pollen particles from going into your lungs. Breathing naturally. Mm -hmm. 
So whilst you're laying there, I'd like you to put your hand, one hand onto your chest and one hand onto your belly. And keep your breathing going as natural as you can. I want you to pay attention to the movement that happens underneath your hands. Are you aware of your chest moving? Are you aware of your belly moving as you inhale and you exhale? So I'd like you to consider keeping the rise and fall of your chest the same or your movement of your breathing the same. But I'd just like you to make the breath a little bit longer. So you're not necessarily taking in any more air. You're just making the exhale and the inhale last a little bit longer. Still breathing through the nose. Feel that you're really trying to slow your breath down. And bringing in the same amount of oxygen. And just controlling the movement of your diaphragm. Slowing the breath down. Just feel your shoulders relaxing, softening towards the floor, keeping your breath in the same speed, the same depth of breath. It's a light depth of breath. You're not breathing shallowly, taking the breath right into the lungs. Still feeling the breath coming in and out of your nostrils. Just breathing longer, breathing slow, but still bringing the same amount of air into the lungs and taking the same amount of air. By slowing the breath down, you're trying to activate your parasympathetic nervous system, allowing you to de-stress, relax. It's just a simple practice tonight. Be aware 
the thoughts rushing through your mind. And if there's too many thoughts, we'll never activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Really good to try and turn the mind off and really concentrate on that breath, the slow and controlled breath. By keeping the breath coming through the nose, you'll find that the mouth won't be quite so dry. If any thoughts come into your mind, don't forget. Acknowledge they came in, park them to one side. They'll come back in again later if they were important. Maybe a job that needs to be done for tomorrow. Or to be done before you go to bed. Plenty of time yet. By slowing your breathing down and activating your parasympathetic nervous system, this can also have an impact on improving your sleep. We should be getting the same amount of air coming in and out of the lungs. Hopefully not too much yawning. Keeping yourself conscious. No falling asleep. Just a few more minutes, breathing gently, breathing nice and slow, nice long breaths, almost feeling like when you get no more, let, you know, more air left in the lungs that you have to inhale, and you can't bring any more air into the lungs, you have to exhale. Almost trying to double the length of the breathing pattern with your normal breath. You might find there's a little bit more moisture inside your mouth. 
Den kan du også se Mens perfect reaction your breathing technique will do. So let's bring the breathing back to normal. Let's take in a few more rounds of breath. Ensure your mind is calm. So let's think about bringing some life back into the body then. So wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. And bring some movement back into your arms and your legs. So what I'd like you to do is take the towel away from your eyes if you've already put it there. And I'd like you to bring your right knee to your chest and then your left knee to your chest, just holding the knees, just gently swaying from side to side. So we're going to take the feet down to the floor. So take your feet out to the edges of your mat, your little toes just resting on the edge. Knees nice and wide. We're going to take the legs down to the right hand side. Slowly allowing them to come down. There's a nice little stretch for the lower back into the pelvis, into your bottom. So squeeze your tummy, engage your tummy. And then inhale, lift the legs back towards the ceiling. And exhale, take them over to the other side. Pay attention to one side or the other, be aware of how they feel. And then inhale, bring your legs back to the centre and go over to the right hand side again. Exhaling the legs down through your nose. And now think about your left knee. Try and push your left knee down towards your right foot. So you're giving the thigh a big stretch. If it's too uncomfortable, don't push it too far. Bring the stretch back by relaxing the bottom towards the floor a little bit. And then maybe try the stretch again. And do that as you inhale. And exhale. So you inhale, you would lengthen. Exhale, you would relax. Push the bottom down. Let's do that a couple more times for you. A couple more breaths. And then on your next inhale, bring the legs back to the ceiling. And exhale over to the left hand side. Push your right knee down towards your left foot. Really trying to get that stretch through the thigh. You might find it's overpowering on one side and nice on the other. Just take note from one side to the other. And again, as you inhale, lengthen the leg out. Exhale, just releasing the hips slightly so that the stretch isn't too intense in one leg. Just a few more breaths. And then inhale, bring your knees back to the chest. 
Just get your back nice and comfortable on the floor. You don't want your back too arched or too flat. We're going to inhale, take your right knee up and bring your left foot onto, sorry, your right foot onto your left knee. Figure of four. So I've just realised this one we could use the strap for. If you have the strap close by, then reach for it. If you don't, don't worry. What you can do is lift your left leg off the floor and put the strap behind your thigh and then use your hands to pull the knee, the left knee, a little bit closer to your bottom. Left knee closer to your bottom. What am I talking about? I mean your chest. Feel the stretch coming through your thigh, your glute. And then slowly release that foot to the floor. Release the strap if you were using it and take your right foot down to the floor and swap over figure of four on the other side. So you can bring the left foot to the right knee and then lift your right leg off the floor and put the strap underneath your leg, underneath the thigh and just pull that leg a little bit closer towards you if your thigh and your bottom will allow. Just listen to your body and you can feel this bottom cheek is pulling really big time so I'm not pulling it too far. Just listen. I'm sure your body will forgive you eventually. <laughs> I'm still working on that. That's always the way a lot of people will look at me and say, wow, she's doing really well, got an amazing stretch, blah, blah, blah. But there's always something that needs improvement. So slowly, release the leg, release the strap, and put the strap down to one side. Just release your left leg down to the floor. And then when you're ready, just bring yourself up into a seated position. <sighs> well done. So just relax the shoulders, just give the neck a nice little wiggle. Just turn it from one side to the other. Be aware of your range of movement. Just tuck your chin as you exhale down to your chest. Sit nice and tall, engage your core. And then inhale, bring your head back up. Just bring your hands to your heart centre. Om Shanti. Namaste. Well done, thank you for joining me. Hope that was okay. Um, yes, I hope you enjoyed that. Just a different way to show you how you can use a strap um, against resistance to help range of movement. Um, it is quite a good way of doing it. I've not really used the strap very much before, but um, we're all willing to learn. There's always new things that we can learn. So my week has been learning about writing meditation and also um, learning about breath and how to use the strap. So I hope your week has been as interesting as mine and I hope it's um, a good one. And Leanne, I will see you on Saturday, weather permitting. Good night. Bye.